The mode is the way the color is applied. Now we are ready to apply this gradient with the currently selected diamond gradient tool. Click the bottom left corner of the image and hold the mouse button. Then drag to the right corner of the image. We release the mouse and the gradient is applied. Next, let's change the mode to Hue. We select the drop down arrow next to Normal and see all the different modes we can choose from, including Difference, Darken, and Hue. We select Hue and are ready to reapply the gradient. We click the bottom left corner of the image and hold the mouse button, then drag to the top right corner of the image. We release the mouse and notice the changes as the gradient is reapplied. We've already arranged the layers in the order we want them to appear and we've renamed them as well. Next, we'll make some adjustments to the layers using some of the layer options. First, we want to move the images we pasted earlier, so we'll select the butterfly layer. Then click the Move tool. We can click and drag this image anywhere in the layer. We can even move part of it off the layer without losing any of the image, even if we save it. We can move the astro layer in the same manner. With the astro layer selected, let's adjust some of the options. First, let's change the opacity. To use the opacity slider, we click the opacity arrow, and the opacity slider appears. We can adjust how much of the background image we see behind the current layer. We'll set the opacity at 90%. When we are finished with the slider, we click outside of the slider, and it disappears. Next, we'll experiment with the modes. We do this the same way we change the modes for the gradient tool. We click the mode drop down arrow. Let's select dissolve. The image is only partially dissolved because the opacity was only set at 90%. If we set the opacity to 50%, the image would be more dissolved. Click the mode drop down arrow again. This time we'll select darken. Notice how only the parts of the astronaut which were darker than the background are visible. We'll select the mode drop down arrow once more and select hard light. Let's save the image by pressing Ctrl plus S. The Type Mask tool is a great way to achieve astonishing effects with text. The Type Mask tool basically creates an empty selection in the shape of the text we specify. We can then use the mask to either delete a portion of a layer or paste an image into the text. First, we'll select the butterfly layer. When we click and hold the Type tool, a flyout appears. A new feature for Photoshop 5 are the Vertical Text and Vertical Text Mask Tools. Let's select the Vertical Type Mask Tool. We'll place the cursor on the butterfly's wing and click. The Type Tool dialog box appears. We'll change the font to Arial. Change the size to 20 points. Then select Bold Italic in the Style section. And make sure Anti-Alias is checked. Now we click inside the text area and type Cosmic. Notice the text runs vertical instead of horizontal. Photoshop 5 can also use multiple fonts at once. Let's select the COS in Cosmic. Then change the font to Impact and the font size to 25. The Type Tool dialog box also gives us increased control over our text by offering kerning and baseline options. We'll leave these set at their defaults. Finally, let's select the MIC in Cosmic and select the Rotate checkbox. This part of the text appears as if it were only rotated 90 degrees. 
Now let's click OK. We do not see text, but we do see a selection in the shape of text. With the Type Mask tool still selected, we can move only the selection, and not the layer, to the desired position. Now we'll press Delete. A portion of the layer is deleted, revealing the underlying layer in the shape of the text Cosmic. We press Ctrl plus D to deselect the area, and we see the deleted area better. Again, we'll save the image by pressing Ctrl plus S. 